tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here for the Torque Drift Beta. There was another update that was just dropped from the uh, creators of Torque Drift, you know, Grease Monkey Games. You know, talking about some of the changes that they made in the new recent update. Significantly faster in progress. Items are much easier to unlock or not locked at all. Um, In-store rotations stock properly, so the items in the store rotated properly and stuff. Cash prices increased. Cash for scores have been increased. Matchmaking now favors opponents close to your horsepower, which is nice. So you're not getting blown away by a lot of other cars. Uh, more events are running at one time. So instead of having the one event with like no money, it's more events at once. Um, they made the clutch kick strengths tolerable to, to stand for a clutch. Um, lowered it overall strength and increased the double touch sensitivity. They're working on a button to actually have a clutch kick button, which would be really nice when they get that all fixed up. Um, they fixed some cars from losing ranks, added some small win bonuses and basic events, which was that zero that I showed you in the previous episode. Now it is there. So they did do that. And I didn't notice in the last update that they do have manual buttons now that you can actually not have to swipe your screen. So we're going to get into the game and do some more uh, driving. Uh, they did reset all the accounts again so unfortunately my stuff got reset again but they said this should be the last time because it says right in here because of it we've reset accounts again to be fair because last time some accounts didn't get deleted and some did so that's why you had cars that were already like all the way full power and everything like that and had all the sponsorship so a lot of the so this they reset everybody's accounts one last time they said this should be the last time in this beta so we're gonna go into the game and uh we're going to get some slides on and see what we can do as I'm flipping my screen. It's probably really trippy. So we're going to get back into the game and uh, have a little fun with it. So there's a lot of sessions been played. 179,000, almost, almost 180,000 sessions have been played. So like I said, they did change a little bit of stuff. So we're going to take a look at that a little bit here. See the garage. Um, see, as you can see, my stuff got reset. But they do still have the ranks based on cars. But now you don't lose rank points when you lose a battle. You just don't gain any, so you don't. So they changed that a little bit. Um, parts are also rotating around. As you can see, there's some parts in here. Um, we might as well buy the exhaust while we're here. And we're going to instant buy that. And install that right on the car. So we are running the BRZ right now. Um, because we uh, had to reset our everything. They did add a couple sponsors in here. They got up there. They got Lynx. There's a new sponsor up in that tree. And I got to get my sponsorships back. Because, um, well, like I said, they cleared everything. So if you take a look now at the race grid, we got Cali Banks there for 200. The Slab for 2,000. Uh, we got the Big M for 1,000. We got Western Pinch. And we got the Yard reverse the full yard reverse so as you see there's more events now on the events page uh, they still don't have customs in there yet that's probably coming soon so they i did also add a lot of variations of tracks now so uh it's definitely really cool we are going to probably jump on to the big m and see if we can't get a win at the big m and get some money flowing in this so as you can see we do still have our names this car is a silver rank uh, this car is a bronze rank. So I am grassroots two on this car. So each one is based on car instead of the overall like player level. So that's kind of cool. So if you switch up cars, you got to go back down to the beginning. So I'm trying to stick with one car, but I did win this from crate. So we are going there and see they do pick a car that's closer to my uh, level. And as you can see right up here, we got gears that are available now. They also have changed the sound effects. They've added like more sound effects into the game. I believe they added a really good Mad Mike with debt straight from his car, and that was a really bad entry. But like I said, this car does not have much power and they reset all the accounts. So everybody is pretty much closer to level playing field. They did add, it looks like backfire on stock cars, but I am running a Lynx ECU on this car because I did get a Lynx, I think stage two ECU um, from one of the opening things. So 
one of the crate openings, so that was a pretty bad entry. But we weren't too far behind, so maybe we can actually come with a win on a good chase. So the buttons for gearing is nice, instead of having to swipe your screen, so there's buttons right there, and you, the, uh, the button fix for all the buttons being way off screen has been fixed. Um, I did not expect him to do that. So, I think with everybody trying to get used to the new physics style of the game, there's a lot of runs that are pretty uh, shaky to start off with. I don't think that's going to be enough because I feel like he probably chased me better or he would have not chased my run at all in order for me to take the win on this track. So, still getting used to it all. Oh, we took the win barely. We just outsed him. Now put 38 24 to 30. 6 12 we just outsed him so we're gonna take some money into that one and we're going to increase our level by a lot and see right there we gained 87 keys we are 209 to 300 to go to the next ranking so he did leave sadly to say he does not want to go against me again i'm sorry dude so we're gonna try the yard reversed um if you remember from last episode i couldn't get a yard reversed complete run without disqualifying myself so that's a goal for today is to try and get that fully get a full run through a full pull and yard reversed um even if it's kind of shaky but i want to accomplish a full run i think that's probably no that's the different guy more power but i wish people would start putting more um names on their accounts so that we could actually you know see if we're facing the same people or actually see who we're facing because that is definitely a really cool thing. I know I have my account changed. So if you guys are in the game and you guys see my account name, this is a really bad run. When you guys see my account name on there, just know that I am there and I am playing. So you guys can get a chance to go against me. Like I said, I, I figured this was gonna be a very, very shaky run, but I am literally, let me just clutch kick that. I'm literally just trying to uh, get a yard run finished. That was a really early entry. We're going to clutch kick that a little bit. So a little power. Get us out there. Because I have yet to complete the yard reversed in a tandem battle. We are tagging some of our close call stuff. And I don't want to lose this because we are getting close to finishing this. Tagging that outer clip. This BRZ for not being very tuned is handling pretty well kick that back there we go I think we're actually gonna finish a run as I say that we smack us on the wall oh, I thought we were gonna smack that wall so respectable run at the yard reverse 51 probably not as extremely high run because I was very shaky on a lot of the things so let's see what we got to go against 65 not too too bad but we're probably not gonna be able to come up with a W with this one unless we can really be on his door in chase so it is nice that you know Grease Monkey Games and the developers of Torture are definitely listening, guys, because, you know, everybody who's on the Facebook group that has commented, like, hey, can we get a button for gear shifting and stuff like that, and now we have it, or can, you know, what happened with the money on the events, and now we have the money again, so, like, they are listening, they are updating based on what we're saying, because that's why they set this game out to beta, was to get, you know, players... Uh, perspectives totally just screwed that up to get the players perspectives because you know to them when they first started making it they're you know it's just like any game that's getting created you need you need feedback from you know the players the people who are gonna be playing this game so that's why you know they are listening very well to the feedback and stuff like that that people are commenting on in the Facebook group for the beta testers <clears throat> as well as you know bug reports and stuff that are implemented into the game that guy's gonna lose it i'm gonna use this to take a little advantage of you know where's the lead at so we did finish this i don't know if we're gonna take that w though i feel like you got a better run <coughs> excuse me i feel like you probably got a better chase than us uh yeah by a lot so we lost by a lot, but like I said, I accomplished finishing a yard reversed run without disqualifying myself. <clears throat> and we bumped up level. So that's definitely a, 
you know, step up in the right direction. I'm still trying to get more money so I can get more power additives to this car and maybe get some more crates. Oh, we lost we lost some of the uh, we lost some of the uh, races now. So we're gonna hit Cali Banks and uh, see if we can't handle this car on the bank. So if you guys are still having fun with these torque drift videos, let me know down in the comment section down below. Definitely still getting a lot of people um, watching these videos and commenting, so it's definitely really fun for me. And uh, I love playing this game. It's it's my favorite mobile drift game. You know, to really just pull out my pocket, you know, while I'm at work, when I'm not, or on lunch or whatnot, and just be like, you know, let me throw down a run or two and see, you know, how I do. And uh, not have to worry about, you know, anything on those lines. So, oop, yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. So we're gonna try and salvage this run. I don't think we're going to. I feel like I'm not in the power band. That's what that clutch kick is actually for. Clutch kick it that way. Clutch kick actually helped, but that did not help because now I feel like I'm going to have to make sure I speed really fast to get to the finish line so I don't disqualify myself on that run. So let me know what you guys think of the updates that they brought in, the different driving characters to the car and such like that. Um, I definitely love them a lot and holy crap, the dude got a perfect run. <clears throat> well, well dude, so maybe we'll be able to get a door dive on you because it looks like you uh, nailed a perfect, uh, a perfect uh, bank run. And I'm trying to, oh yeah, that was, that was a smooth bank run. This man has uh, definitely uh, got that car dialed, so GG to him. I think his name was, am was amateur, so I don't think I can uh, give him a bit of a shout out on that one. So GG to this guy, and uh, it was definitely a very solid, clean run. And he probably got a good, nasty chase run, too. You'll get those random guys that are just like on point with their runs. Yeah, right there. 37. Yeah. 147 point. We just got wrecked. So, I hope you guys are still enjoying Dirt Drift, the beta. Like I said, this is beta. They are listening. I'm super excited for the game release. Uh, I can't wait for the actual full release because I can only imagine what it's actually going to have. We're going to hit the Western Pinch for the last time since it's free. And, uh,. I think that'll do it for this episode. So you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of you found in the description box below. Hopefully, I will be doing some live streaming of Torque Drift and as well as Forza content and stuff and dirt and all that coming up here very soon. Getting back to, you know, hopefully going to be doing uh, two, two a day. Hopefully going to be doing uh, Torque Drift in the evenings or in the mornings and then my normal content during the day. Time permitting, of course, because it does take some time to make this content. But I enjoy doing it, and now that, you know, I have a big following and a lot of people watching, definitely going to strive hard to make the effort to uh, bring more content and better content out. I am way offline. So this BRZ, not the best car. I wish I had my E30. Um, but it's beta. Counts get reset. So you could try different cars and try new things. So... We are going to um, go in our chase, and that's going to do it for this episode here on the Torque Drift Beta for today. So I'm definitely going to try and uh, get a car set up for better better driving in, a late, in the next episode, because I feel like doing these episodes with not-so-great cars is kind of, uh, I mean, I guess it shows I'm just human, and, you know, it shows what other people are going through the struggling for. Because uh, I feel like other people are struggling in the same aspect as me. I mean, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, if you are struggling with the account resetting, let me know down in the comment section down below. Are you struggling like me? You're not. And you, you, know, you can say my driving is crap, too, if you really want to. Um, wouldn't appreciate that. But, you know, you do what you got to do. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on the Torch Drift Beta. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.